All right. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the game here on VRBL Channel 2. We've got Glizzy Gobblers and we got Carbon. And you got Palador here on the cast. So uh, starting it up in the next second here. Welcome to the stream. You got some choices on VRML 1 and VRML 2. But for those who are joining me here on 2, glad to have you. Or uh, if you're watching later in the VOD. Hopefully you were glad to have me? I don't know. In any case, it will be over here to Ant Gas on these, uh, this first uh, attempt off the neutral joust. Trying to find control for both teams. Will be had uh, by Big Bot. Big Bot handing it off uh, to... Well, actually a back pass maybe. They, they got players in the area, but over the trap going to be uh, Tickle Britches. Oh yes! Tickle Britches, my favorite name possibly of all time, or at least one of them. Good to see Tickle Britches. Uh, that said, Tickle Britches over here always tickles me <laughs> to see it as DJ Echo inverts after receiving the pass. Uh, champion BR trying to line himself up and uh, pester this team as they just roll out and trying to space out on the offense. You can see the, definitely the intention here is just to create a lot of space, but uh, the disc getting a bit, well, displaced, it seems, as Neat and Champion do recover. Now, 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 now. Off to the blue zone. See Bart Star there, uh, familiar, a familiar face from earlier on in the day as a ding is just off that corner of the goal. Unfortunate, but zero to zero, stalemate in the first minute and uh, twelve seconds here, and Big Bots with a disc trying to clear that the tunnel. Now there is a midfielder, but it will actually evade the arms, so able to get this. The goal is sort of open, tough angle. Wow. Nice shot, and also credit to Mr. Ant Gas with a very, very rude stun. Just to make extra sure that the goalie could not recover. Nice work coming in for the first goal uh, favoring Carbon. Now, actually, give me just a minute. I'm going to go to sideline cams as a hold on that. Oh, three point hit. Ooh, boy. Well. Wasted no time at all. Didn't even give time for the overlays. That said. I must change something really quickly here. So give me one second. All right, sorry about that, my apologies. Had to do stuff. <laughs> These streams, this will be my fifth in a row in uh, all 30 minute strings, basically, so. I may or may not have overestimated how far I can take it. 
<laughs> Especially with some of these delays that I've been having. But in any case, with Neat has a disc, and disc is gonna be uh, sent up to the barrier. Champion VR! Oh! And gas! Doing some more harm this time. This time, not on the stuns, but on the saves, right at the top of the goal, otherwise nicely placed. That said, Draco, make go, make go, wish, it's champion with the dish into the goal. And that is quite the way to get them started here in round one. First couple of points, and uh, with that, with that a pause, it seems. So, lots of applause for the play, but now a pause underway. What shall we do, chat? What shall we do? Well, I know what I will do is I'll give you some music to listen to at the very least. Uh, Brock's saying, looks, looks like Tickle's arms were out. Well, that's not good. How are you supposed to tickle without arms? That is super inconvenient. Must say. Uh, but, in any case, while we await the return of the arm, let's see what we got on the streams. Of course, on Channel 1, Mentioned this on the last stream, I've been streaming on Channel 1 for two and a half hours up until the last uh, ten minutes or so, but... What is it? Uh, Redshift and Four Kings. Sir Dimwi and Mini Hat uh, should be there casting that currently, or about to start if nothing else. Over here, obviously, on Channel 2, you got me, Palador, with Carbon and Glizzy Gobblers. Uh, we'll have Illuma Duty and Four Kings as well on Channel 1 in another 45 minutes or so. And Wrath Redshift, possibly, on this channel, I'm thinking? Uh, I don't know. It's crazy. We'll get organized, though, don't you worry. Uh, end of week three here, and the end of the pause, so we're back into it, it looks like, and hey, hey, hey. Back into the game. So, uh, oh, in the chat, I see Lulz. You know, Lulz, I was just talking about you uh, both both uh, last night in the OCE streams, and then again just a while ago, because Thunderdrifter a couple times had uh, came into the chat and asked, D did I miss the match? <laughs> and I said, hey, you know, first of all, yes, you did in fact miss the matches. The stream is over, Thunder. And then I, I said, uh, you know who that reminds me of? <laughs> you! Uh, not this season so much as maybe the prior seasons, just always arriving right as the matches were over. <laughs> but that said, Echo, DJ Echo with the disc here. After some brawls, he's gonna send it over into the barrier, so bouncing off and aggressively back into the tunnel, where contesting it are a big pileup of players. Starting to uh, cluster there. But Big Bot with the disc, looking to maybe send, the, send that down the floor on a clear a boost, but it does just go back towards uh, Tickle Britches, so Tickle with his arms fully back in gear. And that disc is fully out of there, but into uh, Arbiter, and now right back into the goal, and Harmoner is DJ Echo <laughs> for the two points. It's eight to two, so six point advantage, still five and a half left. First round, uh, not a worry. Ah, okay, and I can give you a little update here as well. So, looks like according to my Discord, uh, the uh, Dust Bunnies and Femboys will in fact be able to delay. I'm happy about that, because Femboys have the the winning record so far. Of course, Dust Bunny's a great team in their own right, but I'm, I'm very particular now, because we only have a few teams left in week, end of Week 3 who are still undefeated. Femboys are one of them, and uh, they will, in fact, delay their games by 30 minutes. So, yeah, on this channel and then, we will have Wrath, and right now, the Wrath of Neat! Nice to Neat into the goal. As I was saying, we will have Wrath and uh, Redshift here, I believe, on this channel at the top of the hour, so about 55 minutes from now, Wrath, Wrath and Redshift, and following that we'll have uh, Dust Bunnies versus Femboys, so just to keep you guys in the loop, as I was just looped in moments ago. With that, the lead though cut in half, it's a uh, four point advantage, four and a half remaining. Over in the tunnel, uh, oop, oh, 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 what happened there? Uh, everyone missing the disc a few different times as it just slides right under them, and again, so having trouble wrangling the disc here, a little bit frantic it seems like, and that was the theme of the last stream as well on Channel 1. These ebbs and flows will happen, it's just how Echo is, it's not always calm and collected, sometimes it gets crazy, and yeah, sometimes it gets uh, hurried. Right now, trying to hurry up uh, this last four minutes. If you're on the side of carbon, you want to see that clock drain, so you're kind of happy with the chaos, uh, knowing that you have the lead, as long as you don't see any points go in, that's, that's the main point. But with that, over to Neat! Neat! Easy streets again! It's a two-point match! And that's back, ba uh, back to back. Doing some work for Neat. 
Addison in the chat. I told you, I can't. I mean, I'll send my stuff when I send it, but man, my my state is suffering. It's literally the worst in the world. I'm I'm a hermit right now. I'm not leaving this house. <laughs> I gotta protect my uh, gotta protect my health, my my myself, my voice. You you don't want me leaving and then and then contracting uh, something dangerous and then suddenly you'll get no vid because COVID when it comes to these streams. You don't want that. You don't want that. <laughs> AZ aunt, uh, is not too hot right now, so I'm I'm saying in. But that said, over here to the side, it's going to be overtaken by Draco and uh, it's trying to send a, a passing play over maybe to the barrier, but couldn't quite wrangle that one. Big bot collecting it. So they have a couple defenders nearby. That's going to be sent to the midfield and out of there it goes. There is a deep back liner, but not really able to meet the disc. So instead, oh wow, they do. Draco, Mako, Colin, Malfoy. That was magic and out the pot. And oh my goodness, uh, what a play. I, 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 I can't believe. <laughs> I thought that was a guaranteed goal. And let's see if they can get it going on this end. However, it's going to be taken at the mid lane by Draco. There is the man of the hour, or at least of the minute because that was a stellar save. Let's see if they can get the plays going. Uh, tie it up potentially here with two minutes left. I mean, a nice comeback situation being had by the side of uh, uh, Gobblers. So, champion VR does not get the goal and that is courtesy of a great dive but unfortunately, there is the interception so they'll have another go at it with two minutes exactly remaining. And uh, now, pass up high. Draco, oof, could not convert either. So missing a few connections, unfortunately, as they fly down the floor. Uh, and gas sending it through the tunnel, or at least trying to do so. But that's going to take a rugged bounce towards that station. Now all the meanwhile, Draco getting knocked out. Uh, Arbiter knocking it out also into the midfield. Big Bot trying to separate and taking it is DJ. Oh, that play is golden! Echo, echo, echo. What a shot. 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 Had to hydrate after that one. Uh, that, there was some hype plays in that last minute and a half. Wow. Defense within that offense. That was full confidence and... Like I said, the golden goose. Uh, right now the disc is loose. Taken here and trying to break... Uh, through the defense, it's Draco uh, once more. Draco being stunned, but still manages to, manages to, uh, wow. Manages to slide that pass over to his teammate as it does go to the opposite side of the floor. Uh, champion VR here. Down by, uh, five points. 40 seconds remaining, and Arbiter... Looking for a play. Now, they can't really afford patience, but like, then again, uh, then again. Time is just about up, but they just want to score here and maybe end the round on a good note if they can. And uh, that'll be just as valuable as anything. 27 seconds left. Uh, Arbiter once more. A double KO as Ant Gas contests. And Neat with the disc. Sending it to Draco. And Draco over to Champ. But Champ! No, the clamp from Echo and Co. As they will get the save. Whoever that was on the goalkeeping end, kudos to you. And now shooting that shot for one more play. But uh, just not going to be... As uh, 11 to 6 ends this round. And, blue takes the win. and again, <laughs> the never ending trend on Sunday so far of impeccable defense. I have, I don't know how many saves that I have witnessed on stream in the last three hours now, but it's been a lot. It's been a lot. <laughs> uh, a, a lot in the sense that I know we see a lot of talented goalies, but it's been more than average, okay? Uh, a ton of saves. But with that, to the score screen, and you're not gonna hear from me for about 40 seconds, because hydrate. I need it. And I'm back, and yeah, right as the bell dinged. So we got the second round underway, just about. 
Uh, but yeah, quick shout outs as well. We see Twitch TV, TTV, Mr. Savage, Cabbage. Oh my. Now I, I said I said Tickle Britches was one of my favorite names. Savage Cabbage is right up there though. Uh, neat collecting that disc and sending it back to uh, Champion VR here, Draco. And uh, also Addison uh, again. Thank you for joining. I'm, so, I'm sorry you don't have my card slash sock and never you mind Twitch chat. There's an explanation, but point is eventually I'll get that there. Uh, Addison also teammates, I believe, with Neat last season. Correct? Correct? Yes. Uh, but that said, deep into the orange zone. Going to be taken by Draco once more. So uh, Draco with that disc. And Draco working it up the floor. Uh, the defense not really approaching here, just kind of opting to hang out in, in, into the bubble retreat, basically, and see what they do. Oh, oh, dirty. Two points for Draco Mako. <laughs> Going down under like a Mako shark at that and making good on a goal. One minute in. But yeah, I mean, the defense there for Carbon not really coming out of the goal and allowing him to walk all the way in, which is not necessarily a bad thing. You know, some teams, they do uh, prioritize that style of defense. Uh, there, There's different types. You could have that uh, stack defense, single stack defense, double stack defense, man v man defense, bubble defense, dive defense. I mean, there's a lot of different schemes you could run, but, you know, those kind of opportunities, if you do let them into the bubble, got to make sure that they are covered. And you're also, uh, you know, uh, anticipating those those ducks and those jumps because man players are just so crafty on offense these days that uh, if you you know how in basketball it's like if you reach they'll teach kind of like that here in terms of the the jumps and the ducks i don't really know a, a clever rhyme for that one off the top of my head but draco oh right off of maybe the head of tickle Bri uh, britches so either the head or the hand either way it was a kind of sort of save but uh was draco the shot ultimately able to get the points and four up now in the favor of the glizzy gobblers and speaking of names glizzy gobblers also the 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 banner you guys got on your twitch profile that uh, that gif i don't know how i feel about that one <laughs> but i do feel like you uh you know your your match Definitely uh, going to be a good one, a uh, good stream, that is to say. I, I know a lot of a lot of uh, hype votes behind this one as well. And I kind of said that, uh, that this would be the case, you know, once we got into the deep of things in week three, week four of the season. Uh, usually every season, that's when you start seeing the MMRs, the ladders, even out more. And you, you do start seeing these uh, really phenomenal and close matches start to happen. Uh, pretty much every season since, well, uh, last... November or two Novembers ago, uh, preseason one, preseason one. It always took a couple weeks, but by the time we got there, you would start seeing OTs for days, round threes for days, and you know, happy to see it. Uh, right now, these teams kind of both struggling to collect the disc for too long. Uh, Champion is going to get that out of there now, trying to link up with Neat, but Ant Gas doing a pretty good job to uh, deny the stag. Now that said, oh, the shot too soft and it saved the second play. Wow, Ant Gas now getting the disc out of there. You see, oh, punishing on that one. Obviously trying to line up the the easier, you know, push shot, but at the same time, when you're too casual with it, you can be punished if you're not careful because of the speed. Like I said, uh, players are too punishing, not only on offense, but defense too, the stacks as well. So kind of paying for it in that occasion. Let's see if they can get back into the opposite end. Uh, for the side of Gobblers, they're still up by four points. I mean, they're not going to be feeling too badly about it, but they still want to you know, get as many points as they can, obviously. <laughs> uh, but now bouncing off the floor, the stacks a little bit slow in their approach. Obviously, uh, a lot of s stack brawling and stack breakage going on in the midfield. And a very ricocheted clear, maybe a uh, pass attempt, I think it actually was. And uh, Ant Gas, kind of see what he was going for. Uh, he got stunned out, but I think he was going for kind of a, a self-pass play where he slapped the disc, then shielded himself, and then collected it. So I saw what he did, even though it didn't get done. That said, that shot certainly will. And guess who it is? It's Ant Gas. Giving the gift of the three. To his team on carbon or the the gif the gif of three what is this a gift for ants regardless uh bringing it back to one point that was nothing uh nothing to shake a stick at for ant gas i mean super 
super talented player without a doubt and <laughs> another one of my favorite names again uh, like I said just I don't know people are clever and it brings me great pleasure <laughs> as that will for Arbiter what was that 52 meters deep oh boy what a bounce what a bounce 447 and Glizzy Gobblers, they're right back up based off of that. So anything that Ant Gas did that last play around, well, Glizzy, I guess, did it better. Or at least they did it the same. Uh, that rebuttal was strong, for sure. So back into the goal is the defense for uh, the Gobblers. Probably feeling super good after that play. Now with that, trying to rebut, and indeed, DJ Echo... Had some hot shots earlier. That gets that uh, much closer up one there. Brings it back within two. Four minutes. Alright, so as they, they rush, it's also I rush in the chat. Welcome. Glad to have you joining on the stream. Yo, 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 how's your Sunday? Go, go, go in as Draco. Coco goes to the other side, and I'm going to the Echo way too much. But welcome, indeed, to Echo Arena. Glad you joined us here for VR Master League, the last day of week three. It's been fun time all around. A lot of streams going on. Master Tier had four in Europe. Uh, have another three in uh, North America tonight, and Channel 1 and Channel 2. We have uh, Arbiter with a disc, sending it deep over to the boots. Neat's having a little trouble at first to gather, but we'll get it. Uh, not too much of a problem afterwards. Now, Draco had some good shots earlier on and now dealing it again. They're back up by four. After losing the first round, we could be trending towards that round three. Uh, we'll see, though. Still three minutes left in this round. So, who knows? Who knows? So uh, as Antgas rolls out, gonna send it to Big Bot. Big Bot now deep across. Pretty efficient rollout here, but the defense really not too far behind. I mean, they're uh, putting in some good pressure here, at least not to give anything too easy. Uh, look at that. I mean, I, I really like the defense I'm seeing from Gobblers. That said, even better cycling of the disc and the communication to stun the goalie for the shot. Uh, Big Bot was able to get that just seven meters in, so not quite able to find a three, but they still at least bring it to a one goal game now. Uh, that is excellent. Excellent play from Carbon. Uh, that is, uh... You know, someone mentioned, I think, Lolo Ravi in the uh, Twitch chat on Channel 1 a while ago. I'll start doing some top plays videos for these uh, non-master teams. Absolutely. Especially with plays like that. <laughs> because those are amazing. Draco uh, trying to go to that well again. He had that dive earlier on to, in the round where he drove it in, in a similar fashion, but will in fact get it again and, well, Big Bot not too happy about it and with that, you know, they're not looking forward to the third round. Every team, they want to close it out in a sweep if they can. But with that goal, going to damage the efforts to sweep for Carbon as uh, Glizzy Gobblers showing a lot of fight in the second round, for sure. Uh, so Big Bot over in the tunnel, being stunned, just kind of being uh, encroached upon. So I'm not sure what happened there, holding on to it too long, maybe no comms, but what, whatever the case is, that's going to be right into the goal again. That is, I think, three uh, in a row for Draco. At least two, anyway. But Draco doing a lot of the offense here in this uh, match and in this round. Uh, let's see. Eight points to his name, so. Doing well. Uh, Polo asking about channel points in this channel. Uh, yeah, I guess apparently not. <laughs> I thought uh, that we had them last season, but I guess we don't. Uh, but at the same time, I, I guess... Like, I thought we had affiliate, but on the other hand, I do kind of like keeping things on the channel one, you know, because it is kind of the main, the main mo most frequent channel. So to a degree, I kind of like it like that, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, we don't have affiliate here anymore or something. Can you lose it? I didn't think you could, but whatever uh, the case is, it will be Ant Gas receiving it and sending it over to the trench. 30 seconds left and uh, definite round three is going to be on the way now as uh, another attempt maybe for one more shot even, if they can get this going. Uh, 18 seconds left. 
to Draco. Draco, though, just cut off by uh, Big Bot, and Tickle Bridge is able to get that easy grab there right down Main Street. And down into the orange side. Five seconds, and looking like just a... Maybe one more heave, actually. Let's see. Bouncing it, and almost making it. Wow, that was actually pretty impressive from that angle, but... Uh, with that, 13-7. to seven. Round 3, coming up soon. Okay, sorry about that again. Hydration is of the utmost importance now because I have decidedly taken a few too many casts in a row, even though. Even though. It's still worth it. Tomorrow, high rest, but I digress for now. Uh, to Irish. Say, so when's, when's, when's team cap, uh, at, and what, what do you mean by that? What team cap? And is this preseason pretty much right now? Like, do you mean when's... The last time you can join? Or the, the, the last... Wow. Words! When's the latest date you can join? Is that what you're asking? Oh, okay. Team team Cup. Uh, team Cup? Okay, I'm still confused, honestly. Uh, I'll, I'll answer the second half of your question. Um, it's not preseason. No, this is season three. Uh, we did not have any type of preseason here uh, for VRML in season three. We had a sort of preseason, a challenge week back in season two, and then we had a. Oh boy, you know what? If I get too far into it, it's gonna get too confusing, and I'm not confident in my ability to actually talk right now. So that being said, Big Bot with that disc. Um, here, let me try. We had a thing in November 2019 called preseason one, but it wasn't really a preseason so much as a half season. It was basically the the test season. It was season zero for VRML as it got. Uh, introduced into Echo. That was our only actual preseason. Otherwise, the rest of our real seasons typically don't have a preseason. Did that make sense? I hope it did. Uh, but 40 seconds into this round, kind of starting with a stalemate again. Uh, Draco gonna wind it in. It had uh, those eight points that last time around, and wow, backboard play right off the pyramid. And looking good. So, going to war is Draco, into the war chest. Sire? <laughs> Close enough, that was, uh, that was for Polo right there. I know you didn't have channel points to redeem, but... I don't know. That's the best I could come up with. Someone actually did redeem that on channel 1. Uh, they, they redeemed uh, Worcestershire sauce. Also, shame on you for trying to make me say that here. <laughs> when, uh, my voice is struggling. Shame on you. That's so rude. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, someone actually did do that the other day, though. Definitely getting, getting creative, but also sometimes nasty with the words people were down, uh, redeemed. But with that ant gas now, some good separation here in terms of the uh, passing lanes. You know, they're they're definitely spacing out nicely. Uh, but look at the defense. That is so so aggressive coming out actually from uh, Glizzy Gobbler. Has been pretty impressed with that in its own right. But that said, it's it's kind of those cases where. Well, what wins? I mean, look at that. Uh, immovable object, unstoppable force. That is a perfect description of that. And with that, it is finally, apparently, the unstoppable force of carbon. <laughs> uh, that took him a lot of attempts to get through that object that was the defense of gobblers. Looking, looking good. Looking good. Alright, okay, so Stumpa now saying, talking about the tournament. Um... Like I said, this is where, oops, this is where I get confused a little bit. Do you mean the Master, Master Cup? The Challenger Cup? Because that's the only thing. Otherwise, is a, wow, big windmill. It's wound out. Another one of the big saves. This is, I officially decree Sunday, January 24th, 2021, the day of the goalkeeper. There's been so many of those great grabs. I can't, uh. <laughs> it's it's uh, hard to describe, but with that, in the back line, Ant Gas with it, and losing it to Champion. So two apiece, uh, big shot potentially, a slow release, rebound, oh, couldn't find it at first, and finally, Draco. Uh, that was very close to being a, 
Uh, ugly turnover. But they, they get it, and credit to them, they're up by two now. Yeah, that, that's what I was kind of confused by. So uh, if you happen to still be in the chat, Iris, just let me know. Um, for VRML, the way we work is that it's a ladder-based system. You have a flexible scheduling uh, system of... You get two matches a week, basically. It's, it's not a cup scenario uh, the majority of the time. You do get these tournament form, these cup matches, round robins, etc. at Master Tier, and uh, there are things like that, but the regular season, the bulk of it is all just... Kind of a ladder base where you get two matches a week uh, against teams similar skill level. And, uh, yeah, uh, you, you just play the matches one at a time. Whenever you schedule, you can schedule 24-7 pretty much. And uh, just kind of organize with the team, and that's how it works. <laughs> but uh, getting back to the game real quick here. It's uh, to the side wall, going to be snagged by Draco. Seeing if they can push ahead by a little bit more. Neat with the disc, eyeing that backboard play. Uh, that was coming from a mile away. You can see it there with Neat just... Hanging back, on the back. And so uh, it was a inevi inevitability, uh, certainly, for that to happen. And yeah, it's always just a really great spot to hit because you, you can have so many different options when you're at the backboard. You make the goalkeepers turn around, uh, make them try and contest you. You got to be aware of the jukes, which is another thing you can throw into the mix. You can always cross it back over to the front of the goal and make the goalie turn around again. I mean, that's why that's why players and and teams love going to that backboard because it's just it's very dynamic in the kind of plays it offers and the the type of trouble that it can cause for a goalie or defense in general. But uh, with that, with that, over to the bubble. It's gonna be slapped out uh, to the blue zone. Bouncing off that back and awaiting the return of one of these players. Champion is there trying to flap the wings and trying to... Nope! Zing it! It's big bot. No reprieve at all. But a rebound. Still not found. 404. What do we do? It's another one here. So Persistence at least is the name of this game. Uh, the name of this round. Glizzy Gobblers trying to make something work. Uh, because certainly the defense from Carbon has been putting on some stamps and some clamps a few different times in this stream. Uh, but they're not really able to get that uh, that point the, going, the, the scores going for them. Because it's, like I said, you can defend all day long. But if you don't score afterwards, then it, it kind of washes itself out, you know? Um, so for Ant Gas and Carbon, as he gets a disc here, uh, they got to get something going. And it looks like they just will. There's Big Bot, assisted by Ant Gas. Four meters deep, and just uh, kind of squeezed it through that corner. Not the easiest one uh, in the world, but placed it nicely, and goalie unable to obtain. So, a uh, two-point match. Still very close. Uh, apparently, Redshift uh, over there. Redshift and Four Kings is now over. Okay, so yeah, anyone on this stream now, welcome to it. I think VRML won. Also still has some more Master casts along the way, but I think they're maybe 15 minutes out from uh, the next one starting, if memory serves. Uh, so with that, trying to serve it up into the blue and tickle britches there, sending it over to Ant Gas. Two-point match, 3-15, and it is, in fact, the third round, as you guys can see, uh, who are joining us here. Perhaps from VRML1, uh, momentarily. And with that, yeah, the first round was 11-6, to favoring Carbon. Second round was 15 to 7, favoring the Gobblers. And here we are, 6 to 4. Favoring, I'm not sure. <laughs> By the end of this one, we have a 248 to see who's in favor. But uh, yeah, super competitive thus far. And right on the cross pass to Ant Gas, and uh, being very, very distracted and contested by Draco. Uh, Draco's been doing some pretty good work overall, like, even just even there, just going for the extra stun just because and uh, kind of ping-ponging between the different anchors just to make sure the lanes are covered and uh, the offense can't set up. That's that's the purpose of that frequent movement. That said, Antgas trying to find the pass over to his uh, two players. Now a pile-up forming and might result in a turnaround. So let's uh, see, Champion VR and Draco, a nice link up there from Draco. And maybe a bounce shot, uh, no boost, however, at least not from that first stack, but however, uh, Neat is there to try and help the case. Uh, Ant Gas getting it back and trying to help the cause. They're down still, and 
I mean, more and more time is kind of wasting here as they try and get something to go. The rhythm just has not been there for a while, but maybe it's just changed as Big Bot picks up the loose change and puts in some sense, if that makes sense. Six apiece! All right, so roll out here. Uh, the stack trying to regather on defense. Got to be careful here. So hopefully their team on Glizzy uh, communicating exactly where the stack is. And actually, nice job. Uh, who was that? Draco really denying that stack to get into the front line. But that said, Champion will be stunned out by DJ. DJ uh, did not see the defense there. Will lose a disc momentarily. Ant Gas with a disc now. Ant Gas is going to send that right to the cross over on the midfield. Big Bot now trying to hit Ant Gas. You can see Ant Gas calling for it. Uh, he flared those arms, but instead, that disc is being lost. Uh, not really a passing angle available at the time. Big Bot getting stunned here again. So Ant Gas and Tickle Bridges trying to recover. And that could have been a damaging shot with 40 seconds left. And a damaging shot it shall be from Neat. And it was, in fact, neat because he cleaned up. That is a three-point advantage with 30 seconds left. And the defense just couldn't quite get back in place. Uh, but the opportunity is still there. It's still on the table. Let's see. 22 seconds off of this joust. But they're going to need themselves a three-point shot. What a play. Wow, that rollout was blazing. Unfortunately, the mid lane was just completely covered off. Uh, by that defender. Now, if they do get this back, they actually still might have one more chance, but it is narrow. Six seconds left. They need to get people deep into the other end. And with that, the time, the time, the time is over and out. It's nine to six in three rounds. Great game. Glizzy Gobblers, though, the victors. All right. Well, yeah, that was that was still a stellar game. I mean, it was just just that one last costly three at the end. Uh, costly for Carbon, that is to say, but obviously paid off for the Gobblers. Indeed, uh, they are. Glizzy is is feeling good. Uh, they got look a five and one record now. I mean, that is not undefeated, but just about as close. Uh, like I said, uh, not a lot of uh, teams left with. You know, perfect records and, and glizzy gobblers. I mean, they've been almost perfect so far these first three weeks now uh, with that nice record. Now, for Carbon, having a little bit of a tougher time here with it. Uh, we'll go two and five. And, uh, you know, one of those cases where sometimes you're just going to need you know, one, one good game, one good week, and they'll be back, right back in it because this team is uh, super talented in their own right. I mean, I you know, love watching and casting these players here. I think this is maybe my second or third of cast of theirs this, uh, this season so far, but... You know, as is the case, I mean, ebbs and flows of Echo. It doesn't just extend to the rounds. It's also uh, extending to, you know, full weeks sometimes and early seasons. It Sometimes it just takes a little bit to find your flow as a team. And believe me, I, I've been there. <laughs> you know, coming after, a, especially after a lengthy off season. I get it. <laughs> I get it. But uh, in any case, any case. That will be that victory, Glizzy Gobblers. Uh, so let's see what time it is. Uh, all right, so on channel one, as I'm sure a lot of you are already well aware, uh, we'll have Illuma Duty versus Four Kings. That is starting or started, maybe, uh, on channel one following them. On channel two, to my knowledge anyways, uh, because of some scheduling changes, I believe we'll have it here on channel 2. Uh, looks like, yeah, that's the case no matter what. So uh, we'll have Mini Hat at minimum and probably me as well. Um, but we'll have that for Wrath and Redshift. So another Master Tier game, and that will be here on this channel uh, since there's some overlap. And then we'll also have Dust Bunnies versus Femboys. The uh, Femboys, again, one of the only remaining undefeated teams uh, in the Master or Diamond Divisions. Uh, they're. They're a rarity, so it's going to be a lot of intrigue there, suffice to say. <laughs> but, alright, and actually, okay, so seeing in the chat there, apparently I'm... Take it back, because Brock's saying, uh, disbanding after this game, which actually, super shame. Sad to, sad to hear it, uh, honestly, but... 
Are, are you guys at least coming back, uh, you know, on different teams or things like that? I mean, hoping to see you guys playing elsewhere, if, if not on Carbon. But, you know, I, I mean, it's 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 a part of the game. It's part, part of uh, the sports, esports, sports sports, what have you. So, I get it. Sometimes, just gotta find uh, different combinations or find greener grasses and such. You know. Smooth right in asking Wrath game getting casted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it'll be casted here in 22 minutes from now. Uh, Wrath versus Redshift. So just ending this match between Carpet and Glizzy Gobblers. So uh, nothing else going on until the top of the hour. But it'll be here. It'll be here. Smooth, uh, smooth right in saying, yeah, great game. It shall be. Okay, so uh, with that said, in that case... I've been Palador. <laughs> you already know that. I've been here the last few hours. Uh, I will probably be back with Mini Hat, I think, for the cast, as long as uh, my voice is holding up. So I'm going to take like uh, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, get get some hot tea or something. Tea and honey, that's, that's my jam. Uh, so with that, be happy, healthy, safe, and be good to each other. And uh, again, Channel 1 starting imminently in Luma Duty versus Four Kings. And then here on this channel, at the top of the hour, it is Redshift and Wrath. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you pretty soon. Pretty soon. And correct, Grumpiest Broom, Dr. Pepper, <laughs> for the win. But all right, later. Season 3 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX, Rebuff Reality, Asterion Products, ProTube VR, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net.